Welcome back to the channel folks, Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time coming across the channel, if you can subscribe, thumbs up or comment below, would be really appreciated. Now folks, this guy I'm going to talk about is before my time, supporting Celtic, but every Celtic fan should remember this name, Fergus McCann, a Scottish-Canadian businessman that saved Celtic in the last era before they were going to go into receivership. And we didn't. Not like some clubs that went into administration in Glasgow, Look, at this guy deserves a statue outside Celtic Park. What he done for Celtic Football Club, came in, bought 51% of stake at the club, you know, got cleared out that board, sacked the board, it was the iconic terms from the fans back in the early 90s, saved the club in 1994, him and Brian Dempsey, the war is over, the Rebels have won. That iconic, them iconic words were unbelievable from Brian Dempsey. Fergus was a man that put a plan into Celtic Park. He originally wanted 72,000 72, attendance, but obviously with safe standing and changing seating around what happened after Hillsborough. He put a design in, redeveloped the stadium, you know, knocked down all the stands, got rid of the jungle, and we have a 60,000 seater stadium, thanks to Fergus McCann. You know, his legacy at the club should always be remembered. You know, he... He talks about a story that he done satellite broadcast in the Maple Leaf Stadium back in the day in 1972. It cost him $20,000 Canadian dollars to watch Celtic versus Inter Milan, which is a nil all game at the time, the fourth tie. Celtic daft. He went in for the club again in 1990 and he was refused. But he, on the last hour before the club was meant to go belly up, he came in, stopped the banks from taking into receivership. And look, he brought Tommy Burns back in. Tommy Burns won the League Cup. It was unfortunate that we didn't win the league in Tommy's last season. You know, the only thing I would say, it was Fergus and Tommy Burns, the way the relationship broken down at the end. That was that was terrible, you know. It was outstanding before, but Tommy Burns done the right thing and walked out the front door. You know, he'll always be a Celtic legend and icon. So will Fergus be, you know. He bought, brought in Cadetti Van Hoydonk, you know, George... George Cadet was unbelievable. De Canio, some cracking players. The King of King, Henrik Larsson. Before he left in 1999, Fergus McCann, he gave Larsson a new contract. Gave him a new contract. You know, he brought in Williamson. Williamson, between 1997 and 1998, two trophies. Stopped Rangers doing 10. The old Rangers doing 10. So Fergus McCann should always remember and remember it. And he should have a statue outside Celtic Park. There's no no brainer about it. He should have a statue near Jinky, near Brother Walford, you know, near Jock Stain. Needs a statue there. I think the petition should be done for Fergus McCann or even call one of the stands the Fergus McCann stand. Even the North stand, the Fergus McCann stand would be unbelievable. Obviously, we have the Lisbon Lions stand and with the Jock Stain. So, let me know what you think. What is your fondest moment of Fergus McCann? He's obviously had to come back Celtic a couple of times. He was back two years ago. God bless the man, boy. Still going strong. You know, his idea and his vision for Celtic, he achieved it. He achieved it. He made the hand, made the fans really happy. You know, we he brought back the good days and we were in dark times back in them days. But, you know, it's not dark times anymore. You know, look at the look at the honours we've won in the last twenty years. And he was he was the he was the man who put the foundations down. So never forget Fergus McCann, folks. Hell hell, up the Celts. The rebels have won.